Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I'm going to be doing your reading for today, Monday the 10th of May 2021. Oh my god, you guys, this is a very important moment for me. This is the first reading that I'm recording in my new space, my new office here. This is a dream come true for me that I can't really explain how excited I am about. So thank you so much, you guys. Because this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you. Um, your likes, your subscribes, your purchases, your readings, you know, everything. Thank you guys. Really, like, you are transforming my life completely. So, this is going to be our new space. However, right now it is <laughs> definitely not ready. <laughs> um, but we do have a lot of very comfortable space to work with. We have a great view. Everything is kind of dusty right now. As, and as you can probably tell, I haven't figured out how to silence these smoke detectors, which are annoying AF. But we'll figure it out at some point, right? <laughs> For now, just try your best to ignore them. I am trying my best to ignore them and not let them drive me crazy. So yeah, let's see, Pisces. What is the message, the messages, the guidance for you today? For the Pisces Collective Universe, please step in and give us the most relevant messages for Pisces. Alright, so the first card showing up here is Resilience, the card, the Nine of Wands. So this is letting me know, Pisces, that your journey has been long, all right? You have been through a lot. In every area of your life, there has been so much in your history, you know, ups and downs, all sorts of situations here, and you have persevered. You have survived every single one of your bad days. You have survived every single one of your lowest lows, and you're here. And what the universe wants you to know is that if you continue to persevere, even if you're tired, even if at, at times you feel wounded, even if at, at, at times you feel like your heart has been sort of closed off, if you continue to persevere, you're going to get not only everything that you want in the physical and material world, but everything that you long for on a spiritual level, okay? So just keep going. This for me is the don't you dare giving up card. Don't you dare give up cards. Because it signals that you've had more progress than you realize. And that may be because you, you know, you may be emotionally tired from the journey. And that's okay. In your challenge, Pisces, you've got the Princess of Discs, which would be the Page of Pentacles in regular tarot. And it is Manifestation. All right, so there may be something here that you really want to manifest to its completion, and you may have been having a little bit of a hard time with that, okay? So it may be delayed, or it may require more effort, more money, more time, more devotion than you originally um, thought could be the case. Um, but, you know, you don't need to worry about this because this manifestation is coming, you may be having a challenge with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. Someone you perceive to be a little bit immature could be the case as well. Something about the full moon here could also be a little challenging. So the next full moon, you may find that it could affect your material space, your material world, realm. In the recent past, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. Lots of perseverance here. Is that, isn't that the word? No, resilience and perseverance. Okay. So recently, you have been patiently waiting for something. You're trying to be patient, you know. For the most part, you're being patient. But sometimes, it does get a little bit under your skin and you're just like, fuck, like... <laughs> I wouldn't mind if this happened sooner. I wouldn't mind if this uh, would become a little easier, you know, on me. 
But that's that's okay, Pisces. That's okay. Continue to persevere. Continue to do what you know that you have to do in order to complete those goals, whatever they may be. The nine, I mean, I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles. It's also sort of like realizing that you've had progress. You know, it's not like there is no movement. There is movement. There has been. Maybe slow. Maybe... <laughs> annoyingly slow. But you know, it's not like you're in square one. There is already some progress. And it is important for you to recognize that as well. In your mind space, you've got the Two of Cups, Union. So you may be thinking about love. You may be thinking about romance, a romantic relationship, a connection with a certain someone, someone special. You could be feeling a little bit annoyed that it is not necessarily coming together. That could be the challenge. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus who's maybe not coming around. Or for some reason, it is just... Um, maybe just not flowing as well as you would like it to. Could be the case. Take it if it resonates, of course. It may not resonate with all of you. But you're thinking about partnerships. It seems like you're really valuing people who are important for you in your life. Connections that are real, that are good, that really help you, serve you. In your near future, you've got an ace, all right? You've got the ace of swords, meaning that you're going to be receiving more clarity. If this is in regards to um, projects or things in the physical realm, jobs, contracts, money, paychecks, um, new things at work, this could be having that clarity of, okay, that paycheck will be coming in this day. Or, in my case, you will be probably moving this day. Or, you know, this new project is going to start this day, it's going to last this long, it's going to pay you so much. It's like having that clarity, right? In regards to a relationship or the desire to manifest a relationship, cards are going to be put on the table, so to speak, and clarity is going to come in regards to that. Now, whether you like it or not, we're going to see that right here. Wow, you've got another ace. That's beautiful, Pisces. So in this, this position of the spread is what the universe wants you to know. And it is the ace of wands. So this could be a very passionate new beginning here that you're experiencing or will be experiencing. Okay, so maybe this clarity you are going to like. Maybe this clarity is going to bring awareness of something that starts something that begins that is very special very special very beautiful and for you very exciting very motivating some of you could be um, wanting to manifest or have been working on manifesting a baby a pregnancy okay and the journey may have been long and at times you may have Wanted to give up. But now, in the near future, you're going to get a clarity that's going to make the whole difference. And it can actually make you, um, you know, be able to manifest this fertility. So this could be something like going to the gynecologist or something. And they may tell you like, oh, your problem is that you're low on this vitamin or whatever. You know, I don't even know how it works. But something along those lines. And it may be an easy fix, okay? So you're going to be receiving clarity that is very important. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the tower. Change. I love the tower. People hate the tower because it's like scary and shit. But it's, I mean, change is positive most of the time. It, it tends to take us forward. Your energy is represented by the King of Swords at this time. So you're having a lot of authority in your life. You're thinking very objectively, very clearly. You're being strategic, especially once you get this clarity here. You realize that you have the answers, that you know how to do what you are um, called to do. 
You're trying to be very strategic. You're trying not to let yourself be guided solely on your emotions. You're being very strategic and very intelligent. People around you may be amazed of how savvy you are. It's like maybe they don't perceive that about you on the surface. You may realize, or I mean, maybe you don't even know, but they could be perceiving you as someone who's very gentle, very kind, patient, and more of a passive um, influence maybe in the world. But then when they realize how savvy you are, how business savvy, how smart, strategic, clear, successful you are, they're like, wow, I did not expect that from Pisces. I thought Pisces was more of a free-flowing, free soul, whatever comes is fine. But you really do have this ability to see the future, have a very positive future vision. And when I mean positive, I mean optimistic, but at the same time, very aware of what the risks could be, very down to earth, very realistic and optimistic. And someone here seems to be admiring that about you. Could be a Libra, it doesn't have to be, but could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, perhaps. I brought Luna, my dog, here into this space today as a little, you know, getaway for her. And I think the smoke detectors are really driving her crazy. Like, even more than me. Because, you know, they have a very sensitive... Sensitivity to sound. And she's, like, trying to sleep, but I see her opening her eyes, like, every time it sounds. In your environment, you've got the Six of Wands. So you've got success, Pisces. Everything around you. Everything around you is conspiring to see you in your highest form. To see you in your victory. To help you succeed and manifest everything that you deserve to experience. A lot of very victorious energy. People around you could be really getting out of a state of stagnancy and truly making very good progress in their lives. So if you at times have had periods in your life in which everyone around seems to be down you know, on their luck and that drains you, affects you, worries you, uh, this is going to be changing. Maybe it has already changed. Maybe you realize that. People you're used to worrying about are, stand, are starting to stand in their own two feet and making a positive impact that really helps you release that worry. And you know, sometimes that worry can be very mild and very much in the back of your mind, but it can still drain you, you know? You could be, or could have been, um, worried about your parents or your family, your kids. Your friends, you know? And as I mentioned, very mildly, but still. Always present and always present worry. And you may realize that is fading away. And that's such a relief, you know? Hopes and fears, Pisces. You've got perspective, which in this case... Um, is the hangman. But for some strange reason... I'm really getting the energy of the judgment card, which is very interesting. So as far as hopes and fears, maybe what you want to manifest at this time is a refreshed perspective of what would be beneficial for you. A new perspective that maybe is more patient, more resilient. Maybe you also have the hopes for a decision that is important to be made and perhaps bring you that clarity. So this could be a decision that is in someone else's hands and you're hoping for that decision. You may also be afraid of that decision. So it could be kind of like a um, do or die situation. Like, am I going to get the job? Am I not? Is this going to come together or is it not? So it's like you're hoping for that clarity. You're hoping for that answer, but you may be afraid of receiving an answer that is not of your liking. Totally get that. 
You don't want to be disappointed. Wow. At the conclusion, I got chills. <laughs> At the conclusion of the reading, you've got the four of wands. Celebration. Okay. So this clarity that comes in here is definitely something that you like. It's definitely something positive, something that perhaps you've been hoping for. This is great. This is happily ever after energy. This is positive stability and things that are uh, worth celebrating as well. Um, this could be, you know, celebrating the new pregnancy. This could be celebrating a love that comes together. This could be celebrating other people's victories, people you care about. This could be celebrating something that comes together in general that you've been trying to manifest and you finally get clarity about. All right, Pisces, so this is wonderful. I love this reading. I gotta say, I love how this new space feels. Minus the smoke detectors. <laughs> I'm gonna stop complaining. Um, this space is so broad and nice, and I have the craziest, most beautiful view in front of me. I'm gonna see if maybe it can come to, you know, I can maybe show you in the video. Well, look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the most beautiful jungle in front of me. So I'm very excited, very, very excited for all the things that are going to be coming together in this space. I have the intention to continue to um, record lots of tools and things that you may possibly need or benefit from. As you know, I love to teach. I love creating online courses and tools for you guys. Um, right now, we have the 50% off sale all up until the 15th. So if you guys would like to check out the different things that I have to offer you guys, you know, we've created an energy protection course, past life regression course, we've created um, the Abundance Blueprint, which is the most popular one, teaching you how to manifest a healthy relationship with money, specifically money, okay? So if you are um, experiencing challenges in that area or you feel like you always have, that's the one for you. We also have a Shamanic Journey course, which is about self-love. And there's another one. There's another one. Is there? <laughs> the menu is, is becoming longer and I, I I think I might be forgetting one but I guess you know it's fine. Um, we also have this promo in which you if you get two of them every one of them right now are, is $24.99 each. So that's a great price for the value I swear. <laughs> and if you get two of those you can get your higher self guided meditation for free in which you witness your higher self. You get into this space in which you get to see who you really are, your real self, your true, almighty, real spiritual self. And it may really sort of melt away the insecurities that you may have coming from your human self, you know, your human mind that tells you you need to be taller, shorter, skinnier, fatter, whatever, you know, <laughs> that may really help you melt away those insecurities. And on top of that, we've created for Mother's Day a regression to that moment in which you are in your birth mother's womb. It's crazy powerful. It helps you with your connection to your mother and it helps you with your connection to spirit and that energy of creation in which you don't have to do anything, be anything. You're just being created by source. It's it's crazy. The the most the the majority of people cry. <laughs> Because it's so beautiful. I cry. Every time I do it, I cry. I've done it like three times. Maybe four times. And it's just really sweet. It's really sweet. It's just... I can't really describe it. But that one is only $9.99, which is a very low price. I almost feel like it's not a good price. <laughs> Because it's super high quality, it's a crazy experience. Um, it is 30 minutes long. The video audio has been very beautifully edited by uh, a very good friend, uh, Dorsa's boyfriend, I don't know, oh, fiance, recently fiance. 
Um, so if those of you who know Dorsa, my best friend and assistant, um, she has probably, you know, engaged in some interactions with you guys through the email. She's the one that answers all the emails. And she's getting engaged. I don't know if I should be sharing this, but her fiancé is the one that creates all of the the editing of the videos for the online courses. So yeah, that price $9.99 is probably not going to happen again on that one. So I would take advantage of it if I were you. Because it's, it's, I don't know how we, we arrived at that price, but I don't think it's like, <laughs> I don't think it's like reflective of the experience. So make the most out of it because that is not going to happen again. All right, my fishies, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for joining me in this new space. Thank you for everything you do, donations, members of the channel that keep this channel afloat by uh, giving monthly donations, all of your merch purchases, online course ex um, ex purchases, everything has arrived here, has brought us here today, so yay. I'll see you tomorrow, my lovely, lovely fishies. Bye.